In today's lesson, we're going to learn about the AI Stylizer. With this tool, you can apply different styles to your videos with a few simple clicks. It's a great way to make your videos look more creative and make them look either more cartoonish or more 3D. Let's click on it and we will get the AI Stylizer window. Over here, you need to first drag your media and import a media that you want to add a style to. I have imported this video from my computer and I can view it right here. I have the slider to either skip through and see whether I want this video or not. And once I'm ready to add a style, I can head over to choose a style. Like all other effects on Filmora, you need to first download them. So make sure you have stable internet connection. And all you have to do is to uh, download it. Hit the download icon and then wait for it to download. Click on it once and you get this style. Let's go to the beginning and take a look. So this is pretty cool. I still have the movements from my video, but now with an awesome style over it. So this is a pretty cool outcome and I achieved this by a single click. Now I can just post this on my social media and impress everyone with this new style. We have a lot of other styles like palette knife. So you can see the difference. Things like charcoal, maybe starry night, magic hour, impressionist, blue pen, and I'm just downloading these so we can see the effect. Let's try the Hokusai wave. We're not really seeing the outline of the mountains, but it's still pretty cool. Let's try the charcoal style, double click, and this is what we're getting. Magic hour, and this is magic hour. So right here, if you are not seeing your video in full time, maybe it's lagging, that's totally normal. This is just showing you a preview of what this style looks like. It's not exactly the finished product. Up here, we can choose, uh, we can see a before and after. Just click on this eye uh, shape right here. This was before without the style. This is with the style. So you can see that the style is realistic. And if I go to the palette knife, you can see that it still has the original elements of the video, the mountains, the waves, and the blue. It's showing it in a creative way by making the water purple and just adding purple to the entire thing. It's also showing a impasto effect, or as the thing says, palette knife where you take the paint and you smooth it out to some degree, leaving a little bit of the texture out. So it's pretty realistic and it looks pretty cool. And this is the choppy effect that Filmora was talking about the first time when we did it. It opened this window here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other options. We have SD and HD. If you switch this to HD, it might cause lower playback performance. Let's hit OK. And you can see it's a lot more crisp now. Play this back. It looks a lot more realistic. Now the difference between SD and HD, uh, one is that the HD one gives you a lot more details than SD. You can see how everything is a lot more sharper. But if you're going for something more smooth, you can hit SD. And now you're getting something like this. So with SD, you're getting less detail and it all comes down to your preference and see which one works best on your video. Maybe you want something a bit more flat or something a bit more uh, detailed. You can head over here to replace your file if you want to change your video. Let's choose something else. Here we go. I had these, uh, let's see, without the effect, just the water. 
And I think SD would look better on this. Or maybe we can choose something else. Let's choose another video that I can use. We've got this fire video. Let's put palette knife. And that looks okay. Again, this is SD. This is HD. So HD has a lot more details. You can hit this to download all of them. This is best if you want to just scroll through and see the effects. If you don't want to download them all, just go ahead and download each one individually. But you could also download all of them and just keep the downloaded files so that you can click on them and just see them better. Double click and see which one is best for you. All right. So let's say I'm happy with, let's try expressionist. Let's say I'm happy with Vintage. I'm going to keep it HD and then hit Export. Let's name it Fire Style on my desktop. And it did warn us that choosing HD will cause more export time. So this is why it's taking a little longer. And there we go. I have exported my file. As you can see, it's on my desktop. Now I have the option to hit OK and be over with it or upload it to Filmora where I can edit this further. Let's hit OK and Filmora will give me the window, the folder that has my video in it. And I can just go ahead and close Filmora. But let's say I want to continue editing this uh, in Filmora. I could either just open the program and uh, just import it. I'm just going to close this right now and create a project where I can hit import and get my fire style video. There it is. And now it's telling me to create a proxy file, which we learned about. And because this is a heavy file, I definitely want to create a proxy file. Hit OK and it's creating it for me. There we go. Now we have this P with a playback button right there. That means that my video now has a proxy file and I don't need to worry about the performance of my program. Let's add it to my timeline, match it to media, and you can see that I have this red bar. But now Filmora rendered it for me because in the previous lesson we checked on the automatically render files. I can go ahead and view my file right here. It's playing nicely. I'm happy with it. But once I import it to Filmora, I now have the option to take my style a bit further. So I'm going to create a vintage video with this style. Let's create another video track. Head over to Effects. And let's have a look at, and see what I want to use. I will head over to effects, film stock, and just go to lifestyle where I can get some VHS effects. Uh, and let me see, I'm going to download some. All right, we have this play button. Not a fan. Let's try another one. This one has a little bit of glitching. Okay, I like this better. Let's add that on top or directly on your video. Make sure it's the same length as your video. Let's head over to default. You can see it's rendering it again after five seconds. Head over to overlays, film three, put it on top. There we go. I will actually go with retro Overlay, Retrofilm Overlay number one, that looks better. And Filmora is going to render it for me. There we go. Let's play this back. I created this effect with AI Stylizer and the effects that we learned about in the previous lessons. You can add to these effects. There we go. 
But if I want the frame to be uh, on top, I need to just bring it on top. So everything below it will go underneath this black frame that I have. Let's play this back. And I have a pretty cool video. Let's uh, make another video that can go with this. There is my uh, Wondershare Filmora project. I just closed the program so I can go back to AI Stylizer import my other video and now because i downloaded them all i can just view them immediately double click to see them and i definitely want hd hit okay let's see which one looks cool i think i'll go with um palette knife Hit export, call this waves. And I just have to wait for it to export again. All right, so it exported my video and now I can hit this button so we can upload it to Filmora. Here we are and hit okay. Now you could go ahead and export this to your computer as well to bring it next to that fire video, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I just brought it into Filmora where I can kind of reduce the style amount. Perhaps this may be too much for your preference. It created the proxy file. I'm going to import the original video. There we go. And then just stack them on top of each other. There we go, the first video, the original video. Add a new video track, the second video. So if the style is too much for you, you can double click on the video that has the style and then just come down to compositing where you can just lower the opacity. 50%. I'm gonna bring it here so we can see it before and after. There we go, so this was before this is after, and this is the original video. So this is with the minimized style, and this is with the full style. Before, after, before, after. So if you wanted to use a style but saw that it's way too intense, you can always just come in Filmora and change things up a bit. On top of that, you can uh, always just add new filters. Maybe I want to show a before and after to my audience. I will just add something normal. Double click on my filter where I can lower the intensity. So this was without the filter, this is with the filter. Head over to split screen and get something like this. There we go. And just add in the original video on one side and the new video on the other. You can head over to the advanced setting, the advanced settings where you can just uh, go to video and place them in a way that it's like you're seeing a before and after. So I'm just gonna grab position X and just move it all the way to the side right until I'm not seeing this black bar. For the second video, click it and grab position X to the part where you can match it right here. Be somewhere around here. Play this back. And there we go. We're, it's like we're seeing a before and after. Hit OK. It's actually here. Let's render the clip, take a look. We're seeing a before and after of our effect. And again, if you wanna make it longer, just until you reach the end of the video, you can make it longer if you'd like. We know our video is about 20 seconds long, so I can make this 20 seconds long as well. Play this back. And we're seeing this cool effect. 
So if you want to show a before and after of your uh, AI stylizer, you can use the split screens that we already learned how to uh, use to show the effects and impress everyone with your new video. It stops around here, so that means the video has finished. You can also try something else and just look for things that don't have any borders like this, like this Instagram one, delete this split screen, add this one in, and uh, we can just go ahead and create another style for our video. I'm going to do that, save it onto my desktop, and then I'll be right back so we can see a cool video that you can make with the AI stylizer and the split screens. In the first slot, we're going to put in the original. Second, we'll put uh, waves. And third, we'll put waves too. Now let's head to advanced and select each of the videos. Head over to video, transform, and just and just move them away. The first video is starting from the left. Second video, we're going to match this uh, pattern. So grab position X and move it until you have matched the lines here. There we go. And the third video selected and just match it with this part. There we go. So now this is the same pattern you would see if you were to just look at the video as it was. Let's play this back. And now it's looking pretty good. Hit OK. Play this back and it's almost as if you're taking the original waves and then transforming it into this style. And then the third style right here. So you can share your styled videos like this. You can try different styles and see which one looks better. And that was how you can use the AI Stylizer. It's a really simple and cool tool that you can use for your videos. And now let's move on to the next lesson.